Welcome to the 3% Podcast. This is Chad Post from Open Letter Books. I'm here with Tom Roberts from New Directions. And this is a special kind of bonus podcast because we wanted to do one that mainly talked about the NCAA tournament <laughs> instead, of, instead of all the book stuff. Um, so we're going to do that. Since we just had our epic long uh, Best Translated Book Award podcast, which is super serious and awesome, we, I think we deserve one fun one. So Tom, you're, you're right now in Dubai, right? I am in Dubai, and yes, that was a, a fair warning to everyone that uh, if you do not like college basketball, just go ahead and stop listening. Um, but yes, I'm in Dubai, and what, what that means is uh, I got on a plane at about 11 a.m. Sunday, so I missed all the conference championship games uh, uh, that were yet to be played, and I'm guessing by seeding who they are, uh-huh. um, the, but uh, I assume Virginia won theirs, yes. and did Michigan or? Michigan State. Michigan State won. Okay. Michigan State crushed them. Really? Yeah. Michigan State looked better than, yeah, this is the, my question for you. Like, who got screwed more, Louisville or Michigan State? It's a good question. I guess um, Michigan State's the number were... two favorite to win the tournament. Yeah, this is bizarre. <laughs> okay. That, yeah, that's a little confusing now that I look at it. Anyway, um, we'll get into this. I don't know how you want to do this, by, by region? Or... Sure. <laughs> Oh, and can we put a plug in here for um, listeners who may be interested in joining our um, books and baskets? I don't know if it'll go up in time, but um. I know we'll we'll make it try. So yeah, there's a I'll, I'll post it on the the post with this. But yeah, we have a pool, the books and baskets pool, which you could search for on Yahoo and use the password whiskey, or you could just click on the link that's below this podcast. All right, um, but maybe you could tweet it out today after yeah. we've been recording this and. Say anything. So, yes, any and all. And it is $10 to enter? Exactly, yeah. And last year, a, six, a five-year-old came in second place. Who beat both of us. Yes. <laughs> and Jason from uh, Boswell Books won it all. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yep. Oh. Yeah, he had some crazy names, so none of us knew who it was until the very end. Right. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so let's start. Yeah. You, you, you go. You, you know a little bit more about this at this point. I, okay. I filled out a bracket, but I'm... I'm, I'm yeah. I, was, I filled out my bracket just based on just, you know, looking and doing the thing that you always do where you think about it for like a day and then the next day just put in whatever and like yeah. whatever the gut feelings are. So I guess Florida is the big, the big uh, number one, so we could start with them. Do you think they're, they're going to win it all? I will say, just looking at the bracket, um, I don't think they're going to win at all. I watched them play over the weekend. I didn't see, I, I don't know who they beat in the SEC championship game. But Kentucky by one point. Kentucky by one point. Okay. Um, they don't have the easiest bracket. Who did they, yeah, who do they lose to, though, in this bracket? Kansas? That's, that's the, but Kansas is missing their main player. They wouldn't play Kansas until they got him back. I, I, I wasn't sure. I was going to ask you if you knew that because I thought they said they're they're just going to keep evaluating, but Final Four would be like the the probable. You don't think they could get them back for the for the? I hope so. Weekend before, I mean, that would be a month out. I don't know. My mind you, I haven't seen any news, so I don't know. Yeah. But if he's back, and even if not, I mean, Kansas has been playing well without him. It doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, although Kansas did lose to Iowa State in their tournament. Yeah, whatever. But Iowa that State doesn't really matter. Yeah, uh, that's who. Did they that's the Is Iowa that? State. Iowa State is a number three seed. They're in the East. Uh, okay, that seems a little generous. They're I don't know. Iowa State's really good. good. Okay. Iowa State only lost seven games all year, and they had to go through the Big 12 with all of those teams that are pretty loaded. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think Florida has the easiest bracket. Yeah. Presuming they play... Okay, if they don't have to play Kansas, otherwise it's pretty easy. I mean, right. look... I'm I'm an Ohio State person and a Big East. Where Syracuse used to be in the Big East, I will say straight up, I don't think either one of those teams is very good. No. Um, and what? Who else? New Mexico? No. <laughs> VCU and UCLA. I don't know. VCU I don't buy either eight. one of those. 
Yeah, yeah, I don't buy either one of those this year. I love VCU, but like, and I love their their tactic and their technique of their chaos and all that kind of stuff. But I just don't buy into them, and I don't buy any of these Pac-12 teams. No, they're they're it's a down year for that conference. And they have, was... they have like six teams in here, and like half yeah. of them I, I think I've never seen play, and the other half I feel lost to like SF Austin at some point in time. Yeah, I mean they're they're top heavy, you know, but and then. After the first top three, four teams, they really fall off. So, so who, who are you going to pick between Ohio State and Syracuse if they play? Um, I'm taking Ohio State. I've watched <laughs> Syracuse fall apart over the last six weeks, and it's been really ugly and um, yep. really sad to say. No, I think it comes down to the tournament. I mean, this is just a vague, one of those general generalizations you can see on ESPN 24 hours a day. Um, but, you know, good guard play gets you somewhere yeah. in the tournament. And I think Kraft gets it done. Syracuse, for all the talent, they're not the most uh, intelligent. Nope. No, um, they, they also don't have a score. They remind me of those, like, mid-2000 Duke teams that would be, like, really good, that people would think are really, really good, but they never had one guy who could, like, take over and score 10 points in a row when you needed someone to, to make baskets. And Syracuse feels like that team. Where they get down by six and they're just like, well, that's over. <laughs> we and they went like six games without scoring over 60 points or yeah, something. Exactly. I mean, I don't know. They, they might have trouble. But then again, they've got Bayheim, so. Who knows? Yeah. Okay, what, right. about, what about going east? We got Virginia as the number one seed. This is the one, this is the bracket that's kind of, well, this and the Midwest are totally fucked up to me, but the East is kind of fucked up because you got Virginia's number one, which seems fine. They won the ACC. I don't think they're that spectacular. But you've got Villanova as a number two, um, which is, I think, surprised you that they had only lost three games and were ranked number three in the country at one point in time. Um, you got Iowa State as number three, which um, they're sort of a mystery. I've watched them a couple times just because they were on in uh, Wisconsin. The, um, Will Vanderheiden really likes uh, the big the big. 12 and uh, Kansas, so I'd end up watching games that he was watching and texting him, and they're pretty solid. But Michigan State as a number four seems really surprisingly low. They yeah, were, they were spectacularly good at the end of the season when they got all their players back. Yeah. And North Carolina with a six seems really unfair. I mean, you never know who's going to show up, man. Uh, North Carolina can be awful or they could be really, really good. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's it's one of these. It's the bracket that I think any of the top six teams could come out of there. Yeah, I think one between Virginia and North Carolina could come out of there. Really? Yeah, I, I don't believe in the ACC this year either. Unfortunately, I'm a yeah. huge ACC fan. I guess uh, Syracuse counts as the ACC now too. But like, um, even that, like, I don't. I'm a huge ACC fan, but I don't. I don't think that they have anyone that's tournament champion ready right now. Yeah. North Carolina I mean, was my team for a while. Like I thought that they were like had put every, all the pieces together and were rolling, but then they just fall flat and they just look like lazy and don't care. And Providence sort of scares me if I'm if I'd be North Carolina because Providence beat like all the teams. They beat Creighton, they beat uh, Villanova, and they like blew these teams out. And they're like they're like one of those teams that wins the games that they're never supposed to, or against the teams that are much better than they are. They seem to win for whatever reason. I have not seen them play at all, um, but. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You think that could actually happen? I don't. Know. I think that they um, could. I think they could upset North Carolina because North Carolina, it, it, if they show up with their like their normal or their shitty team that lost like the first four games of the ACC regular season, they lose. If they show up with a team that's like that won all those games in a row and like dismantled Duke, then they'll win. But I think it depends on them. Um, and I will to go back to the very beginning of this bracket. What we were saying, Virginia. Yeah, I was not terribly impressed. Um, no. They get it done, they win the games, but, you know, they're, they're not overpowering, I would say. I don't yeah. know. I think, I, I think, I'm, I think I'm gonna, I, one of the big favorite upsets in this bracket is the Harvard over Cincinnati, which I think would be awesome. <laughs> it just would be great. But I think Michigan State and Virginia would be an interesting game if those two play. And I don't think Virginia is as strong as Michigan State. No, not even, yeah. I can't believe Michigan State got a four. That's very bizarre. It's really so. Yeah, going on to the other one that's super crazy like that is our the Midwest bracket, which the top four teams are Wichita State, which got the number one seed for going undefeated. I think more than anything else, 
Um, which is fair. Uh, which Don't is fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great. But look at who they have to get through. I know. <laughs> they would have to play Duke. <laughs> Hold on. Maybe. Before they get to Duke or Michigan, they would have to beat Louisville. They're, and they have to beat Kentucky or Kansas State in the second round, both of whom are like – Way more athletic. I think Kentucky wins that game. They just have a gut feeling that they finally got their shit straight. They're like freshmen have learned how to play. And Kentucky's like ninety thousand times more athletic than Wichita State. Yes. And that's gonna be that's gonna be an insane game. But then even if Wichita State beats wins there, they probably play Louisville, who is who is one of the teams that finished fifth in the country, won their tournament championship, and then ended up as a four seed. And they haven't lost in forever. They have five losses on the whole season. They're like they they were they're the number one favorite after I think after Michigan State's so like Florida, um, Michigan State, and then Louisville to win the whole tournament, <laughs> according to like well, Vegas odds. Well, they say like once once the tournament starts, these seeds don't mean anything, and what's more important is um, your potential path, right? Right. Um, and so this would mean that I'm guessing that Louisville's the highest four seed, and Wichita State is the lowest one seed. Um, according to the people who, who did all the, the seating, right. meaning um, they're rewarding Louisville and punishing Wichita State in a way right. by having right. them with this potential matchup, right? Right, yeah. So Louisville or Wichita State's going to have a hell of a time to get past that. But then in the lower half of the bracket, you have Michigan, who is one of the teams in my dream that made the Final Four. All three of the teams in my dream can make the Final Four under this under this setup. Which is which I'm just gonna say, um, and then Texas, who cares? Arizona State, who cares? Duke's terrible, but they'll they'll beat Mercer, um, and then there's Massachusetts, Iowa, the whatever. That's that's fine, but Michigan will probably come out of there. So you get if you're Wichita State, you go through Kentucky, Louisville, Michigan <laughs> to get to the to get to the Final Four. Two of those teams were in the championship last year. Yeah, that's brutal. The brutal, brutal. Brutal bracket, yes. This is one, like, I, I did get to watch all the, the tournament championships and also, like, all, some of the talk afterwards. And it's one of the things where they were saying that the committee rewarded the big conferences because all the play-in teams are, like, Iowa and Tennessee. Yeah. Um, teams like that. And this is one where, like, Wichita State is, like, the one mid-major among, like, giants of basketball. <laughs> yeah. It's... <laughs> it's fucking insane. So then the last bracket we have in the West, Arizona's the one, Wisconsin's a two, which I think might be a little, a little high. Creighton's a three, and San Diego State is a four. I haven't seen San Diego State play, but I but I just I don't I don't believe in them either. And um I know I they're good. Play. I saw them play once. They they really run up and down the they're they're scoring. They are scoring a lot of points. Um I don't know. Can they beat Arizona? Potential matchup. Yeah, uh, that's where I, that's where I had a problem. Yeah, I, I have a hard time thinking that they'd beat like a big team like that that's gone through some challenges. Who does San Diego State play? Um, I don't know. That's I one of those things I I, I never I, like I just feel like I've, I'm guessing like some of those schools, right? Yeah, I always get fall prey in the past to like loving those kind of teams. Where I'm like, oh, they got this awesome style and they won all these games and then they're. Or whatever, but they never have any challenges, and then they get into the tournament, and they're like suddenly challenged and suddenly super fragile. Um, I will say the team they play in the first round, New Mexico State, might be the worst team in the tournament. You so, think so? They're they're one of the pretty bad. <laughs> they're one of the teams that like uh, uh, that all these places has is like the big upset pick will be New Mexico State. Yeah, they, I don't. I was looking at these weird rankings. I can't remember where, but. Um, they, they rank really low in the national rankings and obviously just made the tournament by beating, you know, winning their tournament. But they, they really have no business being there. <laughs> um, the, the Baylor-Nebraska is my favorite game from this bracket, actually. Yeah, I have a friend who went to Baylor, and so I've um, become sort of fond of them. Um, I also have another good friend who went to Nebraska but doesn't care about their basketball team even in the slightest because they're such a football school. Yeah. But they... They should, they held their own this year in the Big Ten. Yeah, I mean, surpri- they beat Ohio State, Michigan State. I think they even beat Michigan. I think they almost beat Wisconsin too. Yeah. Right. Oh no, it I think they close. did beat Wisconsin. Maybe they did beat them. I remember watching a game and it was close. I couldn't tell you who won. Yeah, they um, won all the games they weren't supposed to win too. Creighton, however, is really good. I love Creighton. <laughs> Creighton is my is my team because they're so efficient. They're like they read this thing in the middle of the season about how they were like the most efficient scoring team in like ages or whatever maybe it was like two months but it was it was it was impressive to me on like how how quick and like good and and 
accurate there, and I feel like that pays off a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to reveal my final four. I will say who I think is going to win it all, though. Who do you think's gonna think is going to win it all? I don't think it's going to be all that surprising. I think Louisville. I don't even think. Really? I might just coast, to be honest. I had Louisville as, as one of the teams, and then I was like, I, they're not going to win twice in a row. I, said, I don't think that that's going to happen. They're, they're that team that, like, up until last year, they used to always fuck me, fuck me over. Louisville's consistently fucked me over in this tournament where I'll be like, oh, they're surprised. They're amazing. They're going to make it to the Final Four. No problem. They'll lose in the first round to, like, like uh, Hampton or one of those teams. Like, like, two or three years ago, they did that, where I had them going, like, to the Final Four, and they lost to someone on a final shot. And it was like, oh, my God. I feel like every time I pick them, I pick them wrong consistently. But now the, the tournament organizers have given them motivation by making them a four seed. So. This is true. They'll beat Manhattan. <laughs> I think they will. I watched Manhattan. Oh, my God. <laughs> they are awful. You know, and look, I hate to disparage a whole you know, level of college basketball, but once you get outside you know, the majors and the mid-major conferences, you watch these tournament games, you know, because they're the only games on on Monday yeah. night of championship week or whatever, because <laughs> ACC and Big East don't even start theirs until Wednesday or Thursday. Mm-hmm. So you end up watching these games, and you're just like, wow, these are a bunch of guys who are all, like, three inches too short to play their position, and just, you know, they just aren't quick, and it's, it's like, you know, high school basketball, which is nothing, you know, I'm glad these guys get to go to college and play basketball and whatever. I'm sure it's great, but, man, these teams are just... It's just not very good. They're not very good. So many of them put all their efforts, though, into winning this one game. <clears throat> like, if American can upset Wisconsin somehow, that would be, like, the, the be-all, end-all for that school. And then they could yeah. just lose again. Who cares? Like, they did their one... They fucked up one team's chances. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know. I didn't, so do you have any, any grand things I, to say about? I, I have no idea. I have my... my my, I have Louisville not making it to the Final Four. You have Louisville not making it. Okay. <clears throat> I have because of yes, my. I know you picked instead, but. Uh, is Michigan? I, I because of my yeah. dream, I stuck with Michigan. I'm going to stick with my dream. So you're going to have Michigan versus Michigan State in the final, aren't you? No, I don't. Um, <laughs> I do not. I but I had but my because no but my three teams that I had in my dream were Kansas, Creighton, and Michigan. So I'm going to put all those through. Because last time I had a dream about whatever Butler, they made it. So why not? And then I do have Michigan State. I chose Creighton too. What's that? I chose Creighton too. Yeah. So like, there, it's not like it's not like that's way out there. But like, that's I mean, I'm going to stick with that. So I, that because I, I think Louisville is better than Michigan, and Louisville should make it to the Final Four and could easily win it all. But I'm just going to go with this because <laughs> why not? It's only it's only ten dollars. It's worth it. I will say I have Michigan losing to Arizona State in the second round. Wow. So, I, I hate Michigan. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> to be clear, I really I, hate Michigan. I don't like Michigan either, but don't they get Mitch McGurry back now too? No, he's not coming back. Hmm. As, as far as I know, I, I, right before you called for this, I, I looked it up and you know they talked about how they miss him and didn't say anything about him coming back. Oh, so. okay. I don't think it really matters. They're still pretty sharp shooting like good teams. Yes, but they can go cold and they're, you know... I don't know. Yeah. I'm just going out on a limb. You got to make these predictions, or you don't win your bracket. <laughs> exactly, and that's where that's where yeah, I'm going. I'm going with that, and that's it. That's, I have yeah. no I have no faith that I'm right, but I but I do. I, I'm just going to stick with it. So, um, so what's your favorite thing about Dubai so far? Favorite thing about Dubai um, that it's really warm and really, really, really warm and beautiful, and everything is you know sort of outside and. Um, you know, it's pretty laid back. It's a weird, weird place. I will say that. Mm-hmm. Um, very weird place. Traffic is terrible. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's a, it's an oddly, you know, it's an odd mixture of people. It's not as big as I thought. It's it's under a million people or 1.2 or something like that. I don't know. It's, right. it's not as big as you'd think. Um, yeah. But how do you like that? Did you see the Burj Khalifa? Oh, uh, I'm scared of heights, so I'm right. not going near that building. But you can see it from you can everywhere. You see it from everywhere, yeah. Isn't it insane? It is pretty spectacularly beautiful building, I will say, for a, you know, the world's tallest building. But um, I won't be going in that. I also, we drove by where the indoor skiing is. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Might, it, might have to do that. It's all like in malls, yeah. So you can, yeah. you can do the indoor skiing in the mall, or you could go visit the penguins in the mall, too. 
They don't have the penguins anymore. They we got rid of the penguins. They got, it was it was a short time thing. Uh, when Kai was going to go there, they were having they had the penguins. But that was in January. Yeah, they, it was for the holidays. I think. Oh, that makes sense. There is like there in that mall with this. I think it's a skiing mall. There's also like this weird water sculpture thing and this aquarium that's like unreal. Like the aquarium looks com- is completely unreal. So any of that stuff, like it's fucked up that it's in a mall, but uh, it it is pretty impressive. When I was in a mall once, I was talking to Edna Watka, and I ran clear into this girl, like, full of bio, the whole thing, and just plowed her over, and I thought for sure I was going to get shot. So be careful in those malls, too. I will. <laughs> um, yeah, I spend a lot of time just trying to figure out who everyone here is, what they do, how they fit in, because it's one of those places. You're just like, how did you end up here? Like The other thing that I'm going to this is my secret to, to the UAE, it's not really much of a secret, but always befriend the, the Indian and Pakistani and, like, non-Emirati people. Because they are always against the man because they just get fucked over in that economy and they will help you out with anything. They are the most important uh, friends you can have. We're actually staying with uh, friends of Candace's and they are, uh, he's Indian. And there you go, so, yeah. He's very cool, so. I always stayed in hotels. Cool. <clears throat> I always stayed in hotels and so I'd always befriend, like, the the, the check-in people, and then they'd be, like, so nice and helpful afterwards, whereas, like, some of the others were not always. Um, I, the one last thing, going back to attorney, that I will say yeah. is two weeks ago, I was all in on Florida, and I don't have any reason to be against that, but I just don't know. they got to beat Kansas. Yeah. And that's, I think they could, but I don't know. That's really their only test. Up until the final four, I mean, yeah. Co- Co- Colorado and Pittsburgh aren't, don't, aren't impressive. UCLA, VCU. I think VCU is going to lose to Stephen F. Austin, and <laughs> it, just because I'm going to go with that. So whatever. Either way, like UCLA or VCU against Florida, I don't know. No, and then Kansas. Yeah, I, I mean, hey, maybe Ohio State will beat Kansas. I'm not picking that, but <laughs> <you know. laughs> yeah, <clears throat> Ohio State's better than than. They they could be better than their ranked or whatever. Their seed, I would seed. yeah, but again with the the it's kind of like they're the best six seed and Syracuse is the worst three seed. Or right, something. yeah, but they could yeah, but for them to beat Syracuse would be completely acceptable. It's not yeah. like it's not like one of those where it's like oh my god a six seed upsetting a three seed that's crazy. Like the, they're 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 a decent team. Oh, uh, yeah. it's gonna be fun starting tonight, man. You're and when do you get back? I will miss the entire first weekend. So. Oh, that's rough. I'm I'm gonna stay home and watch all of these games. But even tonight, these playing games are kind of awesome. Like, who cares about Albany and Mount St. Mary's? But tonight's nine o'clock game is NC State and and Xavier. And then there's Iowa Tennessee. Yeah, and Iowa Tennessee is awesome. Yeah, that's that. So they're actually like for once, those games are like kind of interesting. Um. I, so the time difference here is eight hours. Right. And so I would not be able to see anything until 8 p.m. So, I mean, there's a chance. I mean, Raj, who we're staying with, is a big sports fan and told me, you know, there definitely will be bars playing all of these games. But whether or not we'll be free is another thing. Oh, um, because yeah. Because all the hard stuff. But um, I hope to catch some here and there. Um, and Friday maybe, too. But probably miss everything that happened Saturday and Sunday. So At least you get the, the, the last two weekends, and that's the most exciting part, too. <clears throat> or, well, I love this Thursday. Me, too. Those are the best days as a sports fan. I think. They really are. I'm sorry. I was trying to make that sound better, and, I, and I'm lying to you. Like, <laughs> you're missing the best part by far. I love the Saturday and Sunday games, because, like, the... The Thursday and Friday are just intense because there's so many, and there's that one or two upsets that like no one sees coming. But then those Saturday games are like legit games. There's there aren't yeah. any of the Wichita State versus Texas Texas Southern or Weber State against Arizona. That's gone. It's it's like in Arizona playing Gonzaga. That's suddenly like legitimate yeah. game. So yeah, this is gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> Good deal. Uh, yes. All right. I'm still fucking with my bracket over here. I'm going to change mine, too. I'm totally changing it. Uh, Guess So we have a huge problem um, for whenever anyone hears this. Our website's under attack. The 3% website has been under attack for two days now, and they had to shut it down yesterday 
and they brought it back up and they had to shut it down again today because someone in Scranton, um, from this very particular address in Scranton with this IP, is spam bulk spamming us and creating like a near denial of, of service thing. Jesus. Yeah. Fucking Scranton. I, I put, put this on Facebook. I was like, man, it must have someone in Scranton's pissed. And uh, people came up with like nine different groups of people who I might have offended that would definitely attack her. <laughs> <laughs> so some which is not a good thing. <laughs> it's like when when number six on the list is Jonathan Franzen's fan base, like that's pretty low. Like I would I would think that Jay Franz would be up there, but no, there's way people I pissed off way more than that. So, people from Florida. Florida. Well, mostly it was like Russians because of all the Ukrainian stuff that we've been putting online. They're uh, probably shutting it down. And then it's like Syracuse fans. Oh boy. Anyways. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to try and fix this so we can All actually right. get these online. But All right. Enjoy, I... enjoy Dubai. Thank you. And I hope to be well in, a, in the lead after the first weekend. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye.